From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Wednesday, May 1st of 2024. I'm Amy Rose, and this is what's going on. Ellsworth Air Force Base continues to undergo big changes as part of the B-21 expansion. There are currently 38 different projects happening to support more people in the area and changes to the base itself. Monday was the fourth of seven weapon generation facility groundbreaking events at the base. Air Force officials say the new weapons generation facility is meant to act as an all-in-one storage and maintenance facility for Ellsworth's current and future munitions. An inmate who escaped custody last week has been apprehended. Here's Gary Matthews with the details. Authorities say Kobe San Sochi was taken into custody Monday evening. Details of his capture were not released. San Sochi was in the custody of the Department of Corrections for an appointment at Monument Health when he escaped and fled on foot. Shortly thereafter, the Pennington County Sheriff's Office issued a felony arrest warrant, charging him with two counts of first-degree escape. In national and international news, New York City Mayor Eric Adams said in an appearance on CBS Mornings that police had identified organizations and individuals who weren't university students but professional agitators. Adams and the NYPD made similar claims before the arrest that the protest had been co-opted by outside agitators, though did not provide specific evidence to back up that contention. While people involved in the Columbia demonstrations acknowledge that some people not part of the college community have participated, they forcefully dispute the idea that outsiders were driving or unduly influencing the protest. Adams pointed to protesters breaking into Hamilton Hall at Columbia University, saying some of the tactics and methods have been used across the globe. Authorities say one person died when a tornado ripped through the small northeastern Kansas city of Westmoreland and destroyed houses, RVs, and outbuildings. Pottawatomie County officials say a tornado struck the city Tuesday evening, destroying 22 homes, three RVs, and five outbuildings. The first responders were conducting grid searches in Westmoreland to survey damage and search for people who may have been injured. The name of the person who died was being withheld pending family notification. Three people are also injured, but none of them critically. Westmoreland is about 45 miles northwest of Topeka. And the CDC has raised an alarm regarding an E. coli outbreak spanning multiple states linked to walnuts. On Tuesday, the CDC disclosed that 12 individuals from two states have fallen ill due to this specific bacterial strain, which two cases resulting in kidney failure. Following an investigation, it was revealed that nearly all affected individuals had purchased organic walnuts from bulk bins at natural food stores and co-ops, primarily situated in California and Washington state. Consumers who have procured the contaminated walnuts are advised to discard them and sanitize any surfaces they may have come in contact with. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center, a chance of rain and breezy throughout the day today. Highs will get close to 60. 37 overnight tonight. That was your Daily Slice for Wednesday, May 1st of 2024. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by Amy Rose, executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jackwes. I'm Amy Rose. Have a great day.